Hey all, what's up? It's about 5.20 in the morning. Heading out to 6 a.m. Judo. Um, leaving a little bit earlier today. Uh, if you watched my video yesterday, you saw that uh, it rained and stormed and hailed for like the first time in two months, which was good. But it also did some pretty, pretty big damage. And I've heard that there's power lines snapped in half. Power, like the freaking pole snapped in half, falling over on the road all the way down the road, the route that I usually take. So I'm leaving a little bit early today. I'm uh, going to take a different route, see if we can uh, get there safely without any problems. And um, yeah, just hoping for the best. Hey, what's see y'all I just got out of the uh, 6 a.m. judo class. It's about 7.30. Uh, I didn't stay very long today, or as long as usual. It's about an hour and a half, a little bit less, so... You know, uh, good class as usual. Uh, a little different today. We uh, started up with a weird warm up, which consisted of a bunch of uh, uh, what are those things called? Uchi Komis, which is basically just loading throws. A bunch of that and sprinting back and forth to load, you know. So that was, you know, that was a good warm up, I guess. Um, after that, we did um, like four or five five minute rounds of Nawaza and uh, then we did some standing so uh, yeah that's about it talk to you later oh wait I guess I should talk about standing and stuff one sec um it was good I guess did pretty good didn't go with really anyone that was that tough today no higher belts I did go on the ground with a brown belt in judo, and I did all right. He made me tap once, basically. He's like this really strong dude. He was really like choking my face, so it really hurt more than it choked, but it was a tournament I probably wouldn't have tapped because it wasn't that bad, but I was just tired of sitting there having him choke my face because he's wouldn't do anything else. He's just being stupid, so. Yep, that's about it for now. Uh, no daytime classes. Got to head out of town just for a couple hours and come back so y'all told you it's bad storm last night but dad gum sort of just demolished all these signs around here we got a sign on the ground right here dang some powerful wind you see that but I just ran over a stop sign and there's a freaking power line just like in the middle of the freaking thing good lord Hey y'all, what's up? Redneck Grappler here. Just got home. Oh, I'm sorry, I got something in my eye. I always get something in my eye right when the video starts. Makes me mad. Anyway, I'm just going to show you what we got for lunch here. Well, actually, I guess it's breakfast. It's only 8 o'clock. Just got back, so. Let's see here. Got some cantaloupe. It's fresh cantaloupe. Some delicious seedless watermelon. I'm going to go ahead and have a piece. Mmm. I got some of these green beans. I don't know. My mom cooked them like an olive oil or something. So, um, yeah, it's, it's on the menu for today. I don't see anything else there's to eat. Some strawberries, maybe. I don't know. All right, y'all. Well, I'll talk to you later tonight when I go to class again. Yo, see what's you later. up? Redneck Grappler here. Um, about to head out to jujitsu. Let's see what time it is. 5:55. Uh, 6 6:45 class. Just one class tonight. I had to, but you know, tired and stuff from long day. So decided just to take it easy for a while. Go to one class tonight. Um, also, ordered a new gi today. Not gonna tell you what it is, but uh, you'll know within three to ten days, according to uh, UPS. So be ready for that. I'll uh, show y'all what it is and everything, and then a few weeks after that, after I wear it some, I'm ready to uh, make the review. So yeah, watch for that, and um, thanks for watching this. Y'all, Redneck Grapper here. Just got down, uh, done with the um, 6.45 class, about 8.15 right now. Feeling great today. I mean, amazing. So, just to feel great with what I did. Um, found out, you know, well, anyway, we went over a, uh, 
bunch of stuff today. If you, uh, we have testing coming up, blue belt testing and other belt testing and stuff. So we went over a bunch of questions. We went over some judo takedowns, which was good for me, you know, because I already knew them, so I got to practice them a little bit more, help some other people out who uh, don't do judo. So that was always good. I like helping people out. Um, we went over pulling guard and jumping guard. And then we went over, oh, shoot, um, the spider guard sweeps, two of them from spider guard, the hammer sweep and the foot and the bicep sweep. Had a little bit of trouble with the uh, hammer sweep. I don't know why. Need to work on that some more. I didn't have a whole lot of time to go over it because uh, he was trying to save time to, for us to roll. So uh, we rolled, and uh, I did awesome. Um, hit a bunch of stuff that was on my curriculum. Uh, Omoplata sweep from when the uh, when your opponent stands up in your guard. Swept that. Um, got like mount a few times. Go knee on stomach. You know, wrap up the arm, mount. So I felt good about that. I've had trouble with that sometimes. Did good on that. And then the one I felt the most happy with, I got the Gordo sweep which I told you about that we learned not too long ago. I just thought, hey, I might as well try this out. Uh, the person was trying to pass my guard. They got one leg down. They were going for the knee cross pass or the cross knee pass, whatever you want to call it. I locked up half guard, locked down the Lucas Leach, got up on my elbow after kind of a struggle, so I need to work on that. But anyway, got up on my elbow, got the Gordo sweep, took him backwards onto their back. Um, then a little bit later, I hit it again. I actually forced half guard. I had open guard, but I went into, I had like both feet on the hips. I uh, shot my feet in for uh, half guard, locked the Lucas Lage down again. Um, came up on my elbow, she was pushing into me this time. So I just wrapped it up, took it over my back onto her back. There you go, I mean, I, I felt great tonight. Um, sorry I'm rambling, but man, I feel great about that, so. Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, can't wait till tomorrow. We can do it all again. Scott, you did see a little bit of while, a little while ago, as you know, uh, just out here around the lake. You know, looking for some places, some deep mud holes. Uh, rained yesterday. If you if you watch my other video uh, from yesterday, the training log from yesterday, uh, it rained for the first time in about two months. So we're out here looking for some mud. Drive our trucks through, get a little bit dirty, have some fun. You know, just have a good time. So uh, I'll let you know if we find anything. So far, we're not having very good luck. I think it's been so dry, it just sucked all the water up. So uh, I'll let you know if we find anything. But uh, if not, maybe next time. Y'all ready to grab her here? Uh, as I told you, we were going to look for some mud, do some mud with, uh, with the guys. But um, as you can see, this isn't a good sign. What I mean by that is if you can see out the windshield, then you didn't do good enough. So, not enough mud today. I guess the ground was just too, too dry, soaked that stuff all up real quick. So, maybe we'll get another rainstorm this week and I can uh, get a video of us doing some mud for you. All right, well, uh, y'all have a good day and thanks for watching.